everyone my name is Alexandra welcome to my channel I am here today with a tutorial for Lala and Crafts design team and I would like to show you how to create this shadow box using the shadow box die from Lala and Crafts that was released just this April so it's rather new and it is very easy to work with it so I would like to show you how to use this for making this. Let's get started. For creating the shadow box you will need a few pieces of cardstock and I have all of them right here. The largest one measures seven and three quarters by seven and three quarters and it is scored on four sides at half an inch and an inch and a quarter. So you will rotate the cardstock piece each time and score it at half an inch and an inch and a quarter all the way around let's set this aside for now and talk about the next piece which is five and a quarter by five and a quarter and the smallest piece is three and three quarters by three and three quarters now let's get back to the largest piece right here. Once you have your score lines, you can take the scissors and cut a few pieces off like so. Let me cut one first and then you will see how exactly you have to trim the rest of the corners. This is how the piece that we are cutting out or cutting off will look like. So I will cut at a slight angle from the bottom of the cardstock to my first score line. This flap is basically half an inch. Then I will cut off the score line here up to the second line which was at an inch and a quarter and that way in each one of the corners I will have this shape. This is what we have so far. Next I will take a ruler and from the second score line I will measure three quarters of an inch and draw a very thin guideline that I will erase later on as soon as I die cut the opening for the shadow box. So I need the guidelines, two of these guidelines, only to be able to lay the cutting die in the right spot. I can of course eyeball it too but if you uh, want to be really precise these guidelines three quarters of an inch away from the second score line that you have in your cardstock will help you do that. Use a tiny piece of score tape and hold it in place while you run the cardstock with the die through your die cutting machine. So let me do that now. By the way, if the die cutting machine that you have is not wide enough to accommodate this whole piece, you can fold the side flaps of this construction up like so, and then I think it will be just right for most of the die cutting machines out there to uh, feed this uh, cardstock piece through. Okay, so I ran the whole piece 
through my die cutting machine and I can remove the die now to have a look at what we have here. So first of all, this is what the die uh, created for us, this opening in the center of the cardstock piece. I can now go ahead and erase the guidelines that I had before. Now I will go ahead and reinforce the score lines that I have on this base of my future shadow box. I'm not using a bone folder, although it might be a good idea to use it still. We want our fold lines to be really crisp. I will go ahead and gently fold these triangular sections and this is our front. Okay, next I will get back to my scoreboard. And at this stage I want to remind you that we uh, are making the shadow box which will be uh, three quarters of an inch deep. So I will align my ruler with the score line that I see here and this score line was first created by the die and then we reinforce that score line by folding the triangular sections. So I will just see where exactly that score line is and it is at two inches mark on my scoreboard. So from two inches I need to take three quarters of an inch to my right hand side and create that score line there. Okay, so I think I will use my um, ruler first just in order to make sure that I'm uh, scoring a straight line there, but you will kind of feel with your bone folder where exactly that two and three quarters inch groove is. So right now when I have one of the lines uh, scored on the cardstock, I can use that line as my guide and keep on adding three more score lines while every time I create another side of the square in the middle. And this is what we need. Okay. So let's have a look at what we have here. What's left to do is to fold the little triangular sections like so. Okay, so that's the start. We already can see how it will look like. Okay, so we don't have anything to cover the back side of our shadow box. That's what the second piece of cardstock was for. In order to start and assemble this, I will take a score tape and apply it to the flaps, to the half an inch flaps on four sides of my shadow box and I'm applying score tape closer to the score lines and not to the outer edges of the flaps. Okay, like so. Now I will take the backing off that score tape on one of the flaps and I will attach the five and a quarter by five and a quarter cardstock piece to that flap making sure that I don't overlap the score line. Next I will think if I want to use any uh, decorative paper 
pattern paper on the front of my shadow box or maybe add a frame, an additional frame to reinforce the shadow box that we have right now. And of course you can add uh, more paper layers later on, but right now, um, since we have it all flat and nice and it's easier to glue um, a few elements down to uh, the shadow box, I think I will go ahead and do it now. And the paper that I'm going to use for my project is from the uh, paper pad, which is called Awakening. It was released um, just a week ago or so um, in April. 2021 so let's see I want uh, to choose papers I think I will go ahead and use this one for embellishing the sides of my shadow box so I will cut for the strips of paper which will be five and one eighth by uh, five eighths here they are, and I will glue them down right here. To embellish the front of my shadow box, I decided to use this uh, die, which is called Build a Frame Stitched Large Die. And I'm using the smaller of the two. So I cut four pieces of pink cardstock and I will glue these down to the base of my shadow box uh, like this and it's done too. So this is what we have right now. Next I will remove the backing from one of the flaps and I will start to seal my shadow box closed since I can reach from the inside of the shadow box. I can use my bone folder and burnish those um, places where the score tape is to make sure that they stick nicely. Sliding it in and aligning the edges and then I can lift this piece up and burnish from the inside with my bone folder like so. Let's move on. Now we will take our remaining cardstock piece and it will go inside the shadow box like so. Okay. You can see these openings here, and that's because our shadow box is uh, three quarters of an inch deep and not three eighths of an inch deep, like how it was planned to be. I will apply some liquid glue to one of the triangular sections and I will glue my paper piece in there like so and now I will open it again and apply glue to the rest of this paper piece and once again I will put it back on the inside of the shadow box and doing it this way ensures that all the um, side panels are glued down to the bottom of the shadow box in the exact places where they have to be without any like movements or uh, offsets okay so that's our piece. To mat the inside of my shadow box, I will um, prepare another piece of cardstock, and this one measures three and five eighths by three and five eighths. Once you have the base of your uh, shadow box 
ready, you can take this to so many places. You can embellish it in different ways using different uh, stamps uh, or uh, other uh, decorative elements of your choice. Um, I uh, previously created this card. This is just a card with a, a shadow box in it. Um, and I also used um, the same die uh, that we used today for uh, creating the uh, shadow box, which is uh, closed from all the four sides. Because on this card, you see, this is how I had it here. So uh, only this um, section is closed all around. But the card itself on the side looks like this. And I created a few layers of uh, cardstock and uh, pattern paper and uh, used some uh, foam squares, dimensional foam squares, to create um, that additional um, interest and depth inside the shadow box. And I used a piece of acetate to, um, to kind of close it and... Um, I really like how it turned out, so I hope that you will have uh, ideas uh, racing in your head too uh, about the ways of uh, using this die and about creating shadow boxes for your projects. Um, for uh, my shadow box today, I have a pair of birds. Uh, they are from this stamp set which is called a little note and it is also one of the new stamp sets by lala and crafts and for the first time lala and crafts have the outline dies uh, for this stamp set so it will be very easy to cut the birds out using the dies cutting these birds out was really just a matter of seconds Super fun! I think you've got the idea of how to use this uh, new die from Lala and Crafts and uh, you will have uh, more ideas about um, different ways of embellishing your shadow boxes or uh, cards with the shadow box element in there. Here is the embellished shadow box that I came up with. It is uh, created for a lady who's going to have a baby girl and I used the um, one of the uh, new dies the bird's nest and an egg uh, for my project and an egg is of a pink color to signify the sex of the baby I thought that uh, it would also be cute to use this die for uh, baby projects and then maybe have an egg uh, of a blue color to signify the birth of a boy. Um, so that's it for today. I hope you uh, find this tutorial useful and will give a go uh, with creating a shadow box using the new shadow box die from Lala and Crafts. Thank you guys for watching and have a great rest of your day. See you soon in the next tutorials. Bye!